Hey everyone, and here's a video I never expected to make. This is the Steam Deck, and some of you may have watched my video that I made about this last week, where we get it unboxed, we set it up, we installed some games, and eventually we did actually get playing some things on the Steam Deck. And the whole point of that video was to sort of showcase my first impressions. It wasn't ever meant to be a review, it was very obvious that I was literally unboxing it and setting it up. But unfortunately I actually found that experience to be pretty negative to be honest, and this was definitely conveyed in the video. It took a very long time to actually set up initially, so all of the first updates you have to do. Installing the games took a little bit longer than I'd like, but then it was when I actually wanted to jump into Civilization VI, which is one of my favourite games and I think is exactly what this deck or this device, but yes, this deck was actually sort of invented for. It said it was playable, but it took me around about 10 to 20 minutes to actually get into the game because unfortunately it sort of crashed, then the 2K launcher, like sub-launcher, crashed, and then when I eventually got in there, I just found that I couldn't get on properly with the controls. I also had some not so great things to say about Call of Duty because that game just took far too long to actually load on this device, and again, once we were in, I didn't really get on very well with the controls. It wasn't the nice experience. Fast forward a few days though and the video actually went live on this thing and I'm not um, I'm not usually inundated with comments that aren't so positive. I mean I've been doing this for 10 years I'm more than used to getting comments on every video to say that the video is bad why do you bother all of that stuff but it was very obvious from the start that the overwhelming majority of the comments were saying that my analysis of this device wasn't fair and obviously at first I'm thinking well it was just a sort of impressions video, you know, maybe as I use this the device will get better, but the more I looked into the comments, but fundamentally the more I actually started to use this device as a result of those comments and took it all on board, I essentially realised that my video on this was indeed inaccurate. It wasn't about receiving negative comments and taking it down and sort of bowing to you know anyone that doesn't like the video, it's just the fact that the video was essentially wrong. There were some key problems with the video and I would have actually loved to have been able to sort of just remove the factual inaccuracies of the video but if I'm honest there were just too many of them. I think everybody watching this knows that this is a very complex device and obviously there are many subtleties with it that I am only starting to discover now but for a first impressions video aren't really that relevant because you want a device to be very easy to use out of the box and as many of you said when I issued my apology via the community post well, we want to see the first impressions. Why are you taking down a video that shows your honest impressions? But again, the reason is because there are factual inaccuracies in that video and I was not able to cut them out without the video essentially making no sense whatsoever. Again, to be absolutely clear, I didn't remove the video because someone didn't like the first impressions. I had an email from Valve, some people were saying, and they asked me to take it down. I've never spoken to Valve or Steam, I'm afraid. I think one of the biggest complaints that I had with this device was actually the load times. And just to illustrate why I was a bit mistaken, I've just woken this from sleep. The last game I had open was Tomb Raider Anniversary. We hit resume and straight away, I'm in the game. Now, obviously I know this is not what I tested in that video, but I just wanna make sure that you're completely aware that if you just want to pick up and play the last game that you played, then clearly the load times aren't an issue. Now, of course, that in itself doesn't really prove anything because that's not what was tested in the video. However, let's open up the problem game that we had before, Civilization VI. This game is completely closed, it's cold at the moment, and we will hit play. And I will speed this up so you can see exactly how long it takes. Now obviously that's not the quickest game to load in the world, but the point there is that that's pretty much the same as it would be on a normal computer. Civ takes a fair amount of time, but that is not the same experience that I had before. I haven't had any crashes, I haven't had any problems with the 2K launcher. So to say that this thing is outright slow with everything it does is a lie. Now the other problem as well was in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which I've not really enjoyed replaying if I'm honest, but it says it's great on deck. And that is still very, very slow to load every single time I boot it up. But as many of you pointed out in the video, had I actually checked to see whether that was installed on the NVMe SSD or the SD card? Well, I haven't said it to be on the SD card. Why would it be? Well, it turns out when we open up the Steam menu, here are all of my games on the internal drive. But would you believe it? If we go over to the SD card, 
There it is, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I assume it's just because I formatted the SD card like halfway through downloading games, quite why it's just Call of Duty that's on there, I don't know. But that is clearly the problem as to why that game loads so slowly. It's because it's on a micro SD card that's a few years old. So I will hold my hands up to that one. That one was pure user error, I apologize. It's still very valid criticism, I mean, it's got an SD card slot, but if you don't buy a super fast one, then your games are going to load slowly, and I think they're almost certainly going to load slower than they would if they're on the NVMe SSD. But I don't think it's fair to sort of paint the picture that this thing is really slow to load games when the problem was the first time loading, and then also the SD card for Call of Duty. However, unfortunately, we're still not quite done yet. When I was originally using this, I was trying to operate this as if it was a mouse and keyboard. So I'm using the touchpad, you press down, and this moves. So if I hover it here, I try to click, by the time I've clicked, it's no longer actually over the button. That is really annoying, that problem has not gone away, that is an issue with the Steam Deck. However, remember I said user error? Well, it turns out you can click using the left stick, which is um, a bit of a game changer really. So if you want to make a dedication, oh look, I've clicked, select the settler. Bang, I pressed the buttons. Why I wasn't told this, I don't really know. If there were some instructions that I missed, clearly they weren't very obvious. Some people said there was like a game you should play that goes through everything. I wasn't presented with that. To say that Civilization doesn't play very well and that I don't want to play Civ on this because the buttons are wrong, well that statement isn't fair, is it? Because I've been playing Civ on this. This is actually purely a deck game and on turn 161, I've been unfortunately playing this in bed, which is not a, uh, not a good idea for productivity. You know, it's not flawless, there are still problems with it, but I can't have a video up on my channel saying I don't want to play Civilization on the Steam Deck because it doesn't play very well. That's just not true anymore. I couldn't wait for the full review to correct all of these things and to leave inaccurate information up on the channel, because that's just not fair for anybody. I have a duty, not only to you, but more importantly, really, to the product to give everything a fair assessment. And while a first impressions video is never going to be as detailed as a proper review, I can't leave a video up that just has straight up factual inaccuracies in it because, again, it's just not fair to anybody. I'm not happy that I had to take the video down. I just hold myself to a high standard and that video was not up to my usual standard. And that is why I issued the apology and I hope you can accept it because I want to do better. I've got very big plans for this channel. We've just hired an editor now who's doing a fantastic job. He's off on holiday so I'll be editing this video. It's very convenient. But obviously I'm never going to get where I want to go if I'm publishing videos that I'm not happy with and ultimately don't do the products that I'm reviewing any justice. So again, I hope you can accept my apology for that. I can and I will do better. And obviously we've got my full review of the Steam Deck coming in a couple of weeks. I've invested a fair amount of money into this. I've bought the Steam Deck, I've bought the fastest storage, fastest battery banks and things just to see just how capable this device is for the common consumer. I'm going to use this as it's intended, but I am going to treat it fairly and properly and I'm going to give you a good review. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Get subscribed if you're not already for more PC-centric apology videos. Hopefully we won't have one for a very long time. Touch wood though. If it was very wrong to say smash the like button, so I guess just lightly tap it today. But thank you for watching, thank you for understanding, and I'll see you in the next one.